then the impeached high government official must be removed from office. There is evidence on record which shows that respondent, respondent Corona did not declare any sal ends for certain years real properties worth millions of pesos. There is also evidence on record as well as admissions that millions of pesos and millions of dollars were also not declared in the respondent's sal ends. The arguments of the respondent do not persuade the senator judge. Number one, the ownership of real property is transferred upon delivery of the real property sold. When the contract of sale of real property is embodied in a public instrument, the execution of the said instrument is equivalent to delivery of the thing sold. Number two, there is no law exempting commingled funds from disclosure in the sal n. Minarapat sana ng punong maestrado na iwasan ang ganitong mga alanganing transaksyong pinansyal. Hindi na nga iniwasan, ginagamit pa ang kasangkapan upang hindi tumupad sa kanyang tungkuling ilahad ang tunay niyang yaman. Number three, the duty of a public officer or employee to submit under oath a declaration of assets, liabilities, and net worth is mandated by the Constitution. In case of conflict, the Constitution prevails over RA 6426. Number four, the sal n is required by RA 6713, a 1989 law. The respondent relies on RA 6426, a 1974 law. In case of conflict, the later law prevails over the earlier law because the later law is the latest expression of the legislative will. Number five, RA 6713 emphasizes the obligation of the public official and employee to file his sal n, as well as the right of the public to know their assets, liabilities, and net worth. The 1974 law, RA 6426, cannot be interpreted in such a way that it would nullify the main purpose of the Code of Conduct as a tool against graft and corruption. Hindi layunin ng RA 6426 ang magsilbing kanlungan sa mga tiwali sa gobyerno. An earlier law cannot be interpreted to nullify the purposes of a later law. The respondent relies too much on the phrase, And I quote, of an absolutely confidential nature. This phrase is practically useless as the Secrecy of Bank Deposits Act itself prov provides four exceptions. Jurisprudence and other laws add six more exceptions. The Foreign Currency Deposit Act, the FCDA itself, uh, provides one exception. And jurisprudence and other laws pr provide for a further two more exceptions. How can something be of an absolutely confidential nature when there are so many exceptions to the rule of uh, confidentiality? The 1974 Foreign Currency Deposit Act and the 1989 Sal in Law do not have to exclude each other. They can be harmonized. This Senator Judge respectfully submits that the two laws Could be, could be harmonized as follows. Foreign currency deposit accounts continue to be protected from idle inquiry, but the amounts of these deposits must be declared as assets in the sal N converted to Philippine peso without need of disclosing details like the existence of the foreign currency accounts, the name of the bank, and account numbers. Furthermore, RA 6713 in requiring that the sal n shall contain information on all other assets does not distinguish between peso and foreign currencies. When the law does not distinguish, neither should we distinguish. The respondent has consistently misinterpreted 
all the laws as releasing him from his constitutional duty to disclose his entire assets in his sal -en. The respondent never corrected his sal -ens to reflect his true net worth. These facts have convinced the Senator Judge of the respondent's intent to avoid his constitutional duty to disclose his true net worth. Simply lang, kung ayaw mong ilahad ang tunay mong yaman, huwag kang pumasok sa gobyerno. Under RA 6713, any violation is sufficient cause for removal or dismissal of an ordinary public employee. Ang patakarang pinapatupad para sa pangkaraniwang empleyado ng gobyerno ay dapat ding ipatupad sa punong maestrado sapagkat tayong lahat ay pantay-pantay sa ilalim ng batas. Ang batas para kay Juan ay batas din para kay Renato. Therefore, the Senator Judge finds the Respondent Chief Justice Renato C. Corona guilty of culpable violation of the Constitution and betrayal of public trust under Article 2 of the Articles of Impeachment. Honorable Senator uh, uh, Judge Recto. Just a minute. Uh, let's have a recess for a few minutes.